Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November the 17th of 2019, well, it is titled Young Stars in the Row Ophiuchi Cloud. So what do we see here? Well, this is another example of a star forming region. And while it may look a little different than some of the ones we're used to looking at, we understand that that is because this is an infrared image. So it is a false color image. Of course, our eyes cannot see infrared. We are not sensitive to infrared light. So our eyes do not see it directly, but we can make detectors, of course, that can detect the infrared light and then turn it into images. So different intensities and different wavelengths can be color coded by uh, to, to, to account for the different observations that we make. And here we see a couple of different objects. In one case, we do see a cluster of stars, and that is towards the center of the image here. And that is an example of a uh, young cluster that is forming, and in fact, an extremely young cluster aged only about 300,000 years. Now, we're unable to see this with visible light, and that's not because these stars are not putting out visible light, but simply because there is so much dust around those stars that are forming that it scatters and absorbs all of that light before it can get to us. So pointing an ordinary optical telescope here would not allow us to see the stars that have formed. And therefore, we need something that can better penetrate the dust. Longer wavelengths are better at penetrating dust. So star formation is often studied with infrared light. Infrared light is out beyond the red color, and those are even longer wavelengths. And they're better able to penetrate the dust, meaning that we can see them uh, better. So it gives us a chance or a peek into the stellar nursery that we see here. So we can actually pick out and study these young stars, which have formed only 300,000 years ago. And that is, again, extremely young for a star. Uh, when we talk about stars like our sun living 10 billion years, 300,000 years is hardly anything. Now, the other thing that we see here is the reddish glow down to the lower right here, and that is an example of a reflection nebula. Now, generally, when we talk about a reflection nebula, we talk about a blue color. Well, remember, this is false color image in the infrared, so it is actually colored as red here. Could we look at a reflection nebula in visible light, we would see that it is very distinctly blue. But here we are looking at infrared wavelengths, but we're also seeing that same kind of thing here, that same kind of reflection nebula. And all of these are things that are associated with regions of star formation. So that stars are currently forming here, and we can actually see that young cluster of stars, which has just formed in our image today. So that was our picture of the day for November the 17th of 2019. It was titled, Young Stars in the Row Ophiuchi Cloud. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Distant Flyby. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.